Hello and welcome to Vault Life. Today I'm looking at the Synthetech DSM and how it responds to different triggers. The original Coron DS8 was meant to be triggered by a contact mic, so it responded quite dynamically to different strengths of trigger. I'll simulate that using pressure points, with pressure instead of gate out, straight into the trigger input. Stronger triggers create louder and somewhat longer responses from the DSM. Also, if you're using the pitch sweep, then the pitch sweep will be more pronounced when the envelope is stronger. While I'm playing this manually, you can get automated control over this by putting a VCA between your trigger and the DSM input. In this patch, I'm using channel 1 of maths as a clock, triggering a short envelope on channel 4. I start off with channel 4's output attenuated to zero, so the trigger has no effect, then I gradually increase this to see the effect. The maths trigger output is on the top channel of the O-Tool, while the DSM's output is on the second row. Changing the amplitude of the trigger will create rhythmic variations in accents. Of course you can always do this with a VCA. And now I'll just play around for a while with the settings on both Maths and the DSM itself. The DSM also responds to variations in the trigger length. We can use this to essentially create more CV control over DSM's sounds. Here I'm using pressure points top row to change the pitch of the DSM's output. Meanwhile the second row is used to control the full time on maths. Let's play with both parameters and see what variations we can get in the sequence.
around with the attack if we want to create some truly weird, non-percussive sounds. You might notice a bit of bleed here during the quiet sections. That's just a reflection of my shoddy soldering skills, since I'm still building and testing my DSM, and it doesn't represent what a properly built module would do. Anyway, I hope this shows that even though the DSM only has one CV input, with a bit of creative treatment of your triggers, you can get a lot more automation out of the module than you might think at first.